Hello antique fans and welcome to my channel for another antique related video. This is Deanna speaking from Vintage Touch Antiques. Yesterday I went on a treasure hunt and boy did I ever find treasure. I've got it spread out here on my counter and on this other table here because I have so much. I don't usually find this much stuff in one outing, but I was very fortunate yesterday. I spent a total of $250 on what I'm going to show you. And before I start, let me remind you that most things can be purchased online. So if you see something you're interested in, just contact me. I'll be happy to give you a price. And if you'd like to have it listed online, I can do that. Otherwise, they will eventually be put into my Vintage Touch Antique booth that is located in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland. I'm going to try to go through this quickly. I'm not going to go in a lot of detail because there is just so much stuff. So I'm going to start with the things that are on this table. I've got a uh, little child slate there. I saw a lot of those early slates. Here's a great little carnival monkey. This is a paper mache head on him. Here's a great little coin purse. As you can see, it is so tiny. Look at it against my hand. Here is a child size, one piece rolling pin, a little tin banjo that will have to have the um, metal strings replaced, but I can do that. I found three little butter pads, and I'm just going to turn them up there real quick so you can see that they've got great little one's an acorn, one's even a little bird. Back here, I just love this early piece. This is a little um, doll size chest of drawers. Look at that. I just love it. Here's a great little tin, I suppose, toy size um, coal bucket. In the back here is another early tea tin. Again, most of this stuff, well, all of this stuff has not been processed, so it will be cleaned up and it'll look a lot better than whenever I first purchase it. This is a tin box with a hinged lid. This one had um, sewing machine attachments in it. Great old box if you needed something to put with your sewing collectibles. I've got here, this is a German ornament, a Christmas ornament that's a cont candy container. You see all the glitter there on the outside? This is a bag bomb tin. A little rough, but still good. And here is a Russian tea tin, like a little treasure chest. Another tin biscuit cutter. Couple of very early primitive chicken cookie cutters. A tin mug, so a lot of those. To the front here, here's an, here's an old tin. I picked this up because the rose on it is embossed. It's just got that great old look to it. That would be great in so many different settings. This is a part piece. This is a uh, reflector for an early lamp. Here are a couple of hair tonic bottles with their great caps on them, embossed. That one is a new bros. Not sure what this one says. It's got a lot of embossing on it. Great old cap, as you can see there. And this one in the front here, this is a great old piece. This has got like a boater style hat that was used as a box for this little bottle of, it's a Maxwell's Marie Stewart. I don't know if that was perfume or what. I have to look that up. I have not really done any research on these things yet. Okay, then over here on my counter, this is an early steel turner. Look at the rat tail hanger on the end. That's a good sign that they're so early. Here's an old a bill holder that would be on a store desk and that uh, that says, well I can't really read it, but it's from Rochester, New York. There's an early lady picture that just um, needs a frame or some 
a little bit of repair there to the edge if I use it that way. Here's an early book from the 1800s. Great cover, small book. It's, a, it's called The Vicar of Wakefield. Here's an early school bell. Look at this. Look at this handle on this. This is so great. Great sound. There's a brass candlestick. Uh, barn lantern in the back there, Dietz, nice piece. Another wood spool, textile spool with the brass, um, the brass detail on the edges. I love them like that. Here's an, another kitchen tool. This would have been used on probably to roast toast or something, not roast toast, but to uh, bread, or to toast bread over a um, an open fire probably or maybe even one of those um, stoves that had the fire in the burners. Here are four Civil War era bone handled table knives. And there is a great coffee pot that's the blue swirl granite in the back there a nice old basin a white one with, that's a granite ware piece, white with black trim. Then I got several pieces that's gray granite ware. I've got mugs and cups. Here's a cute little tiny one. I like him real well. And then there's a couple of funnels. That one's got a, a, a little bit deeper, larger one, and there's a smaller one. Then I got, um, here's a wonderful old sip cup. This is soft paste porcelain. Look at the design of that beautiful piece. I got a stack of ironstone little dessert bowls, early marks. In the back I got some pottery pieces. There is an old jug, stoneware jug. I'm going to take this off so you can see it. Now this is a crock lid. I had it sitting on that crock but it doesn't go on that crock probably for a large crock for to cover sauerkraut or something. Nice primitive piece. And here, this crock I found, I just love it. It's a, it's a multi-color glaze on it. Great stoneware piece. And then a decorated, cobalt decorated crock. Haven't had one of these for a while. They're hard to get because they do command such a price. But I was able to grab that one. And that is what I found on this trip. So you can see what I mean about quite a bit of stuff for one outing. So before I close, I would like to invite you to visit my antique booth in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland. You'll find me on the left side of the mall, third row. Just look for the large vintage touch sign that hangs in the back of my double space booth. And also check the description of the video for my webpage and where you can find me online along with my online store. And most of these pieces, well not all these pieces, but some of these piece, pieces will be featured on my webpage when I have them up and ready for sale and delivered to my antique booth. And finally, before I, for, before I end, let me encourage you in collecting and in finding those antiques and in learning the history of them because when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. So bye-bye for now.